Tony was a worker. If he had a vision, an idea, a project, he would make it happen. He'd walk into a place like the Green Street. It was a garage for garbage trucks. And he had a vision. He said, this is a beautiful supper club with trees in it and murals around it and balconies. He had this sense of glamour about him. And he was able to translate that into whatever he was building or developing. And he really loved abandoned places. The, the more horrible the neighborhood, the better he liked it, because there was more he could do to fix it. I was uh, blessed enough to have a double lung transplant. It gave me uh, a new and renewed life. I wanted to sing again. I didn't sing for a whole bunch of years before that because, you know, business, life, physical conditions, a lot of things. And it was time for me to come back to that. Tony was my college sweetheart. He was sweet, he was funny, he was kind, he was wonderful. And that was it for the rest of our lives. Around in my brain. The romantic songs are really devoted to Janet and how I feel about her and the poetry I want to sing to her. Each of us has our broken way. He knows what's at stake and how every breath that any of us takes as a gift. But for him, it's like really literally true. After Tony's transplant in 08, things changed and things didn't change. He created something that's called the Winwood Walls. And the Winwood Walls is an outdoor street art museum that's privately owned and open to the public. And we get over a million visitors a year. It gave real presence to street art, and it's been a beautiful legacy for Tony. They named Northwest 2nd Avenue Tony Goldman Way. A great honor. He just didn't want to be anything different than he was, so he did it. He lived. He lived, and that was what was so great about his life. He didn't give in. He didn't give up. Uh, I don't see the negative side of life. I look at the positive side of life and then take, let that draw me and then deal with the problems that, that, that come up as a result of, of committing yourself to a, a particular community. He never felt sorry for himself. He felt blessed. And he would tell the doctors every time he'd see them that he is so lucky and he's so grateful for what they gave him. And that was the biggest gift in the world, time. He kissed me goodbye, never forget it. He said, come here, I want to kiss you. And it was the sweetest kiss. And then he left. On his terms, with dignity. Once you go through the door, there can be terrific brightness and sunshine and a new life on the other side of the door. Anything is possible.